Welcome to the Chiefs Report. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. Thanks to everybody who submitted their questions for today's mailbag. Got a lot of good ones. If you didn't get in on today's mailbag, use hashtag Chiefs down in the comments section. And we'll try and answer your question next time. Darius Garland is first up here. Name that athlete. Which, with Anthony Hitchens on the COVID-19 list, will we finally see more Willie Gay? Hashtag Chiefs. Uh, well, yeah, number one, Anthony Hitchens is now on the COVID list, uh, so we'll see how that impacts his status for su for Sunday against the Falcons. I would anticipate him being unavailable. Probably contact tracing, so we'll see if he's cleared before then. If he is out, it's time to free Willie. Like, it's past time to free Willie Gay. If you look over recent weeks, Pro Football Focus has Willie Gay graded as the Chiefs' best linebacker by a long shot, yet they keep playing Ben Neiman and Anthony Hitchens much more snaps. I don't really get it. I know he's a rookie, but at the end of the day, I want to play my best players. And I think Willie Gay is probably your best linebacker at this point in time. Even with Damian Wilson out, he hasn't been able to get on the field that much. I don't get it. Play him more snaps. Free Willie. Get it spammed in the comments section. I want it trending on Twitter as well. Free Willie. This was a bad movie in the 1990s or whenever the hell that came out, but Free Willie Gay, that's what we're all about here on the Chiefs Report. I.E. better than Y. That's how you spell Willie. Hashtag Free Willie. I want to see you guys spamming it in the comments section. Next up on our mailbag is Adrian McNally. Hashtag Chiefs. Could Alex Smith be a potential future quarterback slash coordinator coach, offensive coordinator, I assume, and eventual successor to Andy Reid. Mahomes' low interception ratio is partially because of him. I'll say this. Alex Smith definitely has a future in coaching if that's something he wants. If he wants to be a quarterback's coach, a offensive coordinator, maybe even potentially a head coach, I think he can do that. I think he's got the traits to be that guy. He's a smart guy. He's an inspirational leader type. I mean, what he went through just to get back onto the football field says a lot about his character and about what he's all about. I definitely think he can be a coach in the future. Now, will that be with the Chiefs? Will that be at the college level? Who the hell knows? But for now, he's just excited to be playing football. And heck, I've been been—I've enjoyed watching him in the few games he's played for Washington this year. Would it be cool to see down the road? Absolutely. Alex Smith coaching Mahomes? Sign me up for that. That would be a whole lot of fun. We'll see what his future holds for now. I'm just glad to see him playing quarterback again. Now get going with BetUS, our sports betting partner here on the Chiefs Report. If you feel good about the Chiefs' odds against the Falcons like I do, put your money with your where your mouth is, chatsports.com slash Chiefs Bet. Use that promo code Chiefs125. That way you can get 125% deposit bonus when you sign up at chatsports.com slash Chiefs Bet. The over-under in this one, they expect fireworks, 54 points total between the two teams. Chiefs 10.5-point favorites. They, they can't cover for some reason. Betting on the Chiefs against the spread has been tough this year, so just bet the money line if you want guaranteed money because we know the Chiefs don't lose any games. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs bet. Use that promo code Chiefs125. You can bet on this game or many others. Hey, the NBA is back. You want to bet on the NBA? You can do it at BetUS. Kids NFL Network is up. Hashtag Chiefs. New offensive coordinator ideas. This is obviously under the assumption that Eric Bieniemy will not return in 2021, assuming he does get a head coaching job, and that's very much a possibility. I hope EB is back, but I also hope he gets the opportunity to be a head coach, and if he does, I'm team promote Mike Kafka to be the offensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs. This is a guy who's uh, moved up the coaching ranks. He, uh, he was a player who stuck around in the league as a quarterback longer than he should have due to limited talent because he's a smart guy, because he understands the game. He's a true student of the game. This is a fast riser in the coaching industry. He got some looks, some interest to be an offensive coordinator last year, stuck around in Kansas City, and that might pay off because he might be able to be the next offensive offensive coordinator under Andy Reid if Eric Bieniemy ends up getting a head coaching job elsewhere in the National Football League. I like Mike Kafka a lot. If EB is gone, wish him the best. Just promote Mike Kafka, then you can bring someone else in here to be the quarterback's coach. Now get subscribed to the Chiefs Report. If you're part of Chiefs Kingdom, hit that big red button. And the way it works here at Chat Sports, because if you didn't know this, the Chiefs Report is one of many channels uh, here at Chat Sports on YouTube. Here's how it goes. 
More subscribers equals more videos. We need more subs on the Kansas City Chiefs report. We crossed 11,000 recently. Let's keep it rolling. Let's get to 12,000. As we continue to grow, we can get more content out on the channel for you guys. I want to do daily videos. Right now, we're doing four or five videos a week. More subscribers, we might be able to do that for you guys. So hit that big red button and subscribe today. Also, turn on those damn notifications. That's, uh, that's another thing to do because then you'll never, ever miss a video. All right, next up here is Draft Boss, I think is uh, the name here. Hashtag Chiefs. If we get a first round buy, who do you think we will face? Well, we'll take a look at the AFC playoff picture here and, and take a look at some possibilities. Technically, the Chiefs haven't clinched yet, but they've clinched. Like, it, it's going to take a weird three-way tie scenario between Buffalo, Pittsburgh, and Kansas City at 13-3 and three for the Chiefs not to get the number one seed. It's like 99.9% .9 they have the number one seed. So let's just assume that's already locked up. Um, so the possibilities would range anywhere from Pittsburgh to Tennessee to Cleveland to the Colts to the Dolphins to the Ravens in round one. It's not going to be the Bills because they clinched their division, but no one else has. So it could be any of those other teams. I'll say this. The team I want to avoid is Buffalo. I'd love to play Pittsburgh right now. <laughs> I think they're the most beatable team out of all of those teams. If they continue to fade, uh, maybe you could play them in the divisional round. Uh, remember, with the Chiefs, Clint, er, if they do uh, finalize that number one seed, which, again, and they're going to, they will play the lowest seed remaining uh, after the wild card round. So keep that in mind. So a team like the Dolphins or the Colts might end up being that matchup. Now, who's the Chiefs' biggest threats in the AFC? Who could challenge them the most? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I think the Bills are playing really good football. That would be a tough game. The Chiefs are going to be the team to beat regardless. But teams I would like to avoid, the, uh, the Bills and honestly – Probably like the Colts or even the Ravens. I know the Chiefs have the Ravens number. Uh, Producer Sam uh, likes how the Browns are playing. Baker Mayfield can't uh, can't even put on Patrick Mahomes' jockstrap, much less keep up with him in a 60-minute football game. I'd love to play the Browns. I think the Chiefs would kick their ass. Santana, hashtag Chiefs. Producer Sam in shambles. Who do you think that Andy still puts in, or why do you think he puts D. Rob in over Pringle with all of these bad plays? Look, it's clearly uh, it's obvious to me. Andy Reid and this offensive staff, and probably even Patrick Mahomes, they simply trust Demarcus Robinson. I thought coming into this year that McCole Hardman would for sure unseat Robinson and maybe even Sammy Watkins as the number two receiver. That certainly has not happened. Uh, Robinson has been this team's number three wideout this year and, and was the number two wideout while Watkins was out. They trust him more. I think he's more of a natural wide receiver than, than Pringle and uh, McCole Hardman. Obviously, those guys are faster and can do the vertical routes and do those type of things. But they like, they like Robinson. And look, I like Robinson too, but he's too loose with the football. He makes too many mistakes. That punt return crap last week, unacceptable. You cannot turn the ball over like that. Almost cost you seven. Luckily, it only ended up being a safety, but I'm with, I'm with you. It's kind of weird. I'd like to see more snaps for Hardman and Pringle, but they like Demarcus Robinson. The good news is the Chiefs have a ton of weapons. If we didn't get to your question, give me a follow on Twitter. It's at HGramNFL. Appreciate everybody who submitted their questions. You can ask me stuff right there, and we'll see you next time.